So today guys, I'm gonna talk about everything that you need to start vlogging. What up guys, it's Sunday. Running a bunch of errands today. Nothing too crazy. You know, last night was interesting. I pretty much called exactly how it was gonna happen. It was a boring fight. I won 300 bucks, which is awesome. Now I'm on the way to return this sleep test. Not sure if I actually did it right, so there's supposed to be like these green dots on it, and if it's flashing red, it's not working. One green dot kept going from flashing red to green, and then when I turned it off in the morning, it, I don't know, hopefully it worked. So I'm heading back to the Advent Sleep Disorder Center. Yeah, make it rain, yeah, hurricane, yeah. Baby, this a perfect time and a perfect place, yeah. I'ma make it worth your while, stay a while. Think a stripper name is Maverick, and she know I'm Kyle. Sheesh, I'ma throw up 20s in the air. I'ma blow that shit, throw that shit. She ain't gotta tell me I own that shit. Everybody see and they know that shit. Hey. All right, and away we go. Okay, so it is 7 p.m. I forgot to vlog today. Got home, laid on the couch, and Fonzo was next to me, so I ended up falling asleep. So I was thinking today I was gonna just do like a quick thing and say I, I forgot the vlog and just I'm taking a break. But I figured I'll give you guys some value and talk about what you need if you wanted to start vlogging yourself. In the meantime, right now, I'm running to Walmart. I wanted to work out, put on a fucking workout outfit, but I gotta go pick up deodorant, cat food, and run a few other errands. So what it takes to start vlogging, there's only one thing you really need, and it's one of these. If you have an iPhone or a smartphone with a decent camera, then you could start vlogging. So I use an A6000 Sony camera with a Sigma F1.4, and that's what gives it like the blurred background effect and a really sharp image quality. But for like these daily vlogs that I do, if you wanted to start vlogging or talking about anything, this is perfectly fine. A lot of you guys probably don't realize when I mix in iPhone footage with my camera footage. Now, if you were to start vlogging with your iPhone, one thing you would need is some sort of handle. So holding an iPhone with its like flat surface would be a little too wobbly. So I recommend you go to Walmart. They sell like these little handles. They can handle iPhone, no problems. You can mount it on stuff, like one of those bendy handles. Now you may be thinking, wait, I don't want a vlog that looks like a shitty iPhone vlog. We need to consider it really doesn't matter what the video quality looks like. It's more the content of what's actually in the vlog. What I've realized is the camera quality really doesn't matter. My first vlogs, I got more views. I was using a worse lens and didn't understand sound quality and stuff like that. But the better content of the vlogs is what made it actually succeed. So I wouldn't worry about the quality. You really, if you want to start vlogging, just pick up your iPhone and just start. Now, if you decide to ignore that advice, to get a professional camera that actually looks good, it's gonna cost you anywhere from 500 up to a thousand dollars because you're gonna need to get a mic for on top of the camera you're probably not gonna want to stick with the kit lens i mean the kit lens will be fine at first you're gonna have to buy memory cards extra batteries so if you do want to get a professional camera get ready to dish out close to a thousand dollars now if you want recommendations for what camera to actually get i would get either a canon m50 because that's like a typical vlogger's camera that has a flip around screen or i would get some type of sony a series camera i use an a6000 thing that sucks about it there's no flip around screen but if you get like the a6500 which is a little more expensive. It does have a flip around screen and in body stabilization, which is what you want. For lenses, definitely get as wide of an F stop as possible, which is just a lower number for the F stop. So if it's like F 3.5 or F 1.4, try and get a lower one, F 1.4. So guys, that pretty much covers it. I'm gonna end the vlog here. If you got any questions, comment below. I'll respond to every single comment. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars.